it was um, it was difficult actually because yeah, also in the qualifying it was very tight and Johan is very fast on the first lap, on the second lap, on the third lap, and he was very close to me. Uh, but I guess he used up his tires a little bit more, and then he started to fall uh, back a little bit, um, and then um, and then I see he's not not really a threat anymore. And I guess he was saving his tires as well a little bit, and uh, in the end. I, I didn't push 100% as well in the last two, three laps or something. So, yeah, I guess it was a bad tire usage. But um, this is definitely something that we have to think about, you know, because we have to get faster on the first lap. So it's not only the number one which is new on your beautiful truck, but also, of course, during winter time, the team did a lot of effort. How are you, uh, you right now prepared for the season? Is everything fine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we changed... Um, quite a few things, small things, you know, the main concept remained the same because it was already working very well um, last year. Um, so we, you know, try to fine tune, you know, and refine some things. And uh, yeah, I think we definitely uh, achieved some uh, some good results in the in the development. But yeah, I guess also Johan is uh, much faster than last year. So yeah, he's very close. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, it's a long time with, uh, without a win. So uh, it's very good. I mean, it's... Uh, the reverse grid uh, race, but for me it's like the, the normal race, you know, so it's, it's quite good. I mean, very happy for the team. They did a really good job. They were very, very hard, you know, and the track has been going very, very good. So, yeah, I mean, I was a little bit lucky that uh, nothing happens on the start, you know, I have no troubles. So, very happy with this win, for sure, yeah. Not a lot of damage, we can see that. No, no, but no, <laughs> nothing at all in this one. So, very lucky, very lucky. But it is, of course, a race. I mean, reverse grid means you had to put out your elbow, so it's uh, definitely a tough race. How did you manage to keep the space? Yeah, it was a tough race because I have to pass uh, some drivers, you know, and it was not easy. But, yeah, we have a good, uh, good pace for the race, and uh, I knew that if I don't make any mistake, uh, Lenz and even uh, Norbert will, will not catch me, you know. So I try to keep, uh, to, to keep the ties in good position, you know, in good shape. And uh, since then, I just tried to look on the mirrors and control a little bit the race. Yeah, it was a good race. I had a good start and a good first sector. But then on the second sector, Johan attacked a little bit. And I defended, you know, closed the door, proper, and kept my first position. And, um, yeah, from then on, I was a little bit faster, you know, could gain a little bit of a gap and, uh, and be out in front, you know, so... It was, it was nice, you know, I, I'm happy with today because we, I think we made definitely a step forward from yesterday, um, especially the, the one lap pace, you know, in the qualifying. Um, and also the race pace was nice, you know, so I'm happy and uh, very thankful for the team and uh, Ravis Racing because, yeah, they are doing a really, really good job. And I saw the other teams con doing the congratulations as well. This is a huge family here, truck racing. So how was it then? driving at first i mean you've got the view off by yourself and trying to stay focused until the rest of the the race yeah well i mean you're used it, to that yeah it's it has a special feeling to it you know because it's it's hard to explain because you are not always able to do it you know because sometimes there are faster people than you and um and, and you have to and you will fight and and struggle behind other people and everything but obviously not, that's not the aim for anybody and when you can do it and when you can achieve your aim to be in front uh, it's, it's really a special feeling and uh, yeah and I guess this is something that I guess you have to practice as well you know to what you say to keep up your concentration and, uh, and, and keep being consistent and take care of your tires and take care of your tracks so that you can stay in front at the end of the race as well so yeah, I guess, you know, it's part of the learning process when you do a career in motorsport. So, and I'm happy that I had many opportunities, you know, to enjoy that. Ja, auf jeden Fall. Also, hat jetzt alles funktioniert. Ein Lob an meine Crew, die haben super Arbeit geleistet, ganz Wochenende. Ja, was soll ich sagen? Wir hatten einen sehr guten Start gehabt. Ich glaube, ich war nach der ersten Runde schon Erster gewesen. Der Chefi hat sich verbremst, dann der Theo hier hinten in der, in der Kurzanbindung hat er sich verbremst. Und man konnte die ganze Zeit, oder ich konnte das ausnutzen. Ich bin dann ein ruhiges Rennen gefahren quasi, habe natürlich die ganze Zeit versucht zu pushen, weil ich wusste ja auch nicht, was, wer kommt von hinten. Ja, im letzten Rennen war ja Jochen und Nobby auch etwas schneller als wir. Deswegen habe ich versucht, jede Runde gleich zu fahren und ja, am Ende hat es gereicht. Ja. Ja, super. So, um, he said, 
great effort from the team, of course. They were changing the club so quickly and they did a really great job. So he said everything was fine, everything, the engine was running really, really tight. And then he said, yeah, I had a really good first round over there and we'll have a look at that later. He was talking about with Steffi Harm and Theo Kovey, of course, uh, the contestants which he was dealing with. And then he was up front and he didn't know who was really in the back because he said, you know, last race, Norbert Kirsch and Jochen Arne, they were quite quick as well. And so uh, he try and was trying to get the um, overall a good speed, a good, a good pace.